Finally, there it was, Pluto. But something huh? was odd. The ship's control panel lit up. Three boxes appeared, each glowing with a question. The first read, does huh? Pluto orbit the sun? That was easy. Almsum pressed the green button. Pluto's orbit appeared on the screen like a glowing path. Check. The second question, is Pluto round? Almsum chuckled. He zoomed in on Pluto. It looked like a cosmic pearl, round and proud. Another green button lit up. Check again. Then came the third question. Has Pluto cleared its orbit? The ship paused. A swarm of space debris floated by. Icy rocks, mini moons, and other objects bumped along Pluto's path. The screen buzzed red. No, the system said gently. Pluto shares its orbit with too many objects. It hasn't cleared its neighborhood. Amsum's eyebrows shot up. That was it. That was the reason. Even though Pluto was round and orbited the sun, it hadn't taken charge of its orbit. Unlike planets like Earth or Jupiter that cleared their paths like a bossy space vacuum, Pluto was more like the kid who shared his toys with everyone. A team player, but not quite a leader. Because of that, scientists had to draw the line. They came up with a new category in 2006 and called it Dwarf Planets. 